uh, this piece I had, and it fits onto my um, you know, tripod, but Rich had this other piece, and it holds all three, and the phone fits right down in there, and then I can hold it nice and steady, and so forth, because it's really hard to use just the center piece, you know, and try and hold these pieces and everything else, it's you know, eh, you know, it, it works, but it's kind of hard. This makes it a little easier. And that is actually screwed into the base, so it's not going nowhere. So, for now, this is going to work just fine. In fact, uh, this is what I used uh, to do the outside, you know, uh, the sunset. So, we'll see. But, yeah, I think it'll work pretty good. Eventually a gimbal, maybe, but we'll see. My cat Barnaby eats more human food than he does his cat food. He's the only cat I know who loves human food. And I mean all kinds of human food. He ate a pickle the other night out of one of our hamburgers. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. We were like, yeah, right. And he chomped it. But, yep, he loves human food. Especially Italian uh, noodles and things like that. Boy, look at Little Foot and Chomper go after that romaine lettuce. They like that, that's for sure. Wow. <laughs> they can really, really chomp on some stuff. It looks like they wouldn't, you know, like, nah, they're not a snapping turtle. It looks like they wouldn't hurt. But boy, I see them tear through brine and, and this and that. that. <laughs> Them, them, them beaks are pretty tight and pretty sharp. That's for sure. All right, not really sure what we're gonna do. Rich and them are working on the alarm system, driving Mara nuts, keeps going off. Uh, so they're ordering a bunch of batteries, but we got the system working now. He's gotta come up with a video for tomorrow. I gotta come up one for the next day. So I'll go around and figure something out here. I kept looking for Chip the other day and he's not here. I keep forgetting he got moved. There he is. What's up, Chip? What you doing, buddy? Oh, look at that. He's coming right up to say hi. Everybody is, of course. That's just because they think it's feeding time. What you doing, buddy? Okay. <laughs> Little algae eaters were fighting there for a second, chasing each other around. Oh, he's so blue. Alright. These biters are getting so big. There's all kinds of, oh wow, look at all the cichlids now. I forgot they're in there. There's one right there by the rock, and I've seen a couple dodge in behind over there. They, they get everywhere, don't they, man? Amazing. Oh, yeah, there's one right there. There's a couple of them. Those are pretty good size. Oh, there's a third one. There's a fourth one. Oh, before you know it, there'll be a colony in here. That's just crazy. <laughs> Some people ask what's up with Beavis and Butthead, Where, what what's going to happen with them and what they're going to do with them. I'm presuming they're going to grow out and go into the 40 or 5,800 or possibly to zoos. You know, we do uh, once, once these guys get filled and we got too many, then we do got to start giving them away. Although like, you know, Charlie, Big Betty, Paco, they're not going anywhere. They're family. They're here for good. Those, those guys will never go anywhere. All righty. Well, let's see if we can get Brutus to pop. What's up, buddy? You ready for a treat this morning? Hmm? I don't know. See, sometimes he is, sometimes he ain't. I can never tell. We'll find out. Nope. <laughs> That's crazy. He either does or he doesn't. Hmm. But he's looking at it at the bottom weird. 
Cichlids will eat it, that's for sure. And look at them beautiful koi. Don't they look beautiful swimming in that beautiful pond? <laughs> Aren't they gorgeous? <laughs> I love them. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely froze over. I mean, it's still a little open over there because of the bog filter running through. But it got nice out. It's almost 50 degrees, so it's a whole layer of water on there. And man, when it gets cold, we'll have our own ice skating rink, Jerry. <laughs> I can't ice skate. I, well, I don't know. I never tried. My ankles ain't good, but. Not me. I, I don't trust my landing gear. <laughs> but yeah, man, that it is froze. Just like the front. I'll show you the front too. But yeah, it's finally frozen. But I don't know, man. We're supposed to have like 50 to 40 here for the next three, four days. So who knows? It's, it's Ohio. Crazy weather. And the front pond. And of course, it's frozen just as well. In fact, we got so, so cold, that bitter, you know, storm that hit the whole country almost froze this up, but it's going. In fact, my house, my furnace ran for almost 48 hours straight. It made me scared. And I couldn't get the house above basically uh, 65 degrees, but I do have a um, uh, fireplace. So we lit up the fireplace blocked off the thermostat so it wouldn't read the heat and we got it up there pretty good so luckily for that but yeah that bitter cold really messed up things okay so not much to see in the front pond because <laughs> it's froze and then this is Skylar's tank newest addition to OFR and she got a bait up there too I'll show that real quick and there's the beta. Does your beta have a name? Yeah, Nigel. Nigel? Yeah. So he's English, huh? <laughs> Did you see the bystrace yet? The what? Did you see the bystrace? Uh, well, I just did that tank, yeah. Yeah, there's two bystrace in here. I don't know if I saw them, though. They're hiding. There's one, they're both right here. Right near the ship, that one. Yeah, I see the one in the front. Yeah. And then that one's Marcella. And then there's actually the guppy in here from uh, when we went to when we went to Michigan to get those tanks. Oh, okay. Is there anything in there? No. I don't that think one. So. Yeah, I didn't think so neither. Okay, got to make a run real quick. Uh, I actually mailed that like I don't know two weeks ago. But it came back. Sorry, Kyle. He had the wrong address. We're remailing it out now for you, buddy. But we got a couple things that got to get mailed out. <clears throat> and I don't know if I was telling you guys, but the uh, uh, alarm system in the house is going nutso. And it uh, looks like all the 10-year uh, batteries uh, have given out. And Rich has been here 10 years. So I'm going to stop at Home Depot and pick up some batteries so we can replace everything in the alarm system. Because <laughs> everything's just going off in there. So right now we got it disconnected uh, and Tyler and or Tyler Skyler and Rich are working on the tower tank. Okay, here now at the post office. So I'll go ahead and get these things taken care of and come back and then we'll head over to Home Depot and get the uh, batteries we need for the uh, home alarm system. <laughs> All right, got the batteries he needs to take care of the alarm system. So I'm going to get out of here and we'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs> um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, <laughs> I have so much going on. I can't remember which one it was. Kurt and I, we were BSing in the other room. And <laughs> all of a sudden I'm like, I got to get another video out. So <laughs> here's my ending. Sorry, man. Uh... But hope you enjoyed it. And guess what? I got a rescue, I think. Uh, I was supposed to, well, not I think. I already talked to Rich. I'm supposed to go out tomorrow morning. Going to Michigan. Yeah, um, last minute thing. It'll be New Year's Eve tomorrow, but I'll be on a rescue. So, uh, you guys, you stay fishing, my friends. Hit that like, subscribe, and share. And we'll go deeper with the Reaper.